What's going on boys and it is finally deadline day and you know it's deadline day because we've already had Harry Redknapp hanging his head out the window giving an interview. What a beautiful sight that is. But not only that, will Jim White be wearing his yellow tie? Will we have dildos flapping by people's heads? I'm excited to see what is to come on deadline day. But the exciting stuff out of the way, transfers is also what deadline day is all about. So starting off, Liverpool are going to have a very, very busy day. So Chamberlain is set to be announced this morning. We've got Virgil van Dijk, we've got Lamar. Two of those are talking about being fairly difficult to get done today. We're talking 70, 75 million for van Dijk and similar price for Lamar as well. Not only that, Liverpool are trying to get Origi out the door, they're trying to get Markovic out the door and trying to get Sacco out the door. We're talking about 30 million for Sacco and Markovic, maybe 30, 35 million hopefully. And Origi talking about going to Wolfsburg on loan for 6 million. 6 million on bloody loan. It's absolutely incredible stuff. It's going to be a busy day for Liverpool fans. And hopefully we can get at least one more transfer in, which will be Virgil van Dijk. So another transfer which looks like it might go ahead today is Mares from Leicester City. He's been allowed to leave his training camp on international duty to go do a medical for a club which has not been announced yet. Now Roma, I think they've had three bids rejected, so it could be Roma back in again. There's rumours of Spurs, but I'm not convinced about that one. So it's another one we want to keep an eye on. Already today, Leicester have rejected 25 million from Bournemouth for Damari Gray. I think I've said his name properly in autumn, like. But I think he's a top player, yet he doesn't seem to be starting for Leicester yet. A 25 million bid is a rather decent one to reject. So whether Bournemouth come back again, only time will tell. We still have the rumour about Danny Drinkwater to Chelsea. I still don't get it, and they've supposedly been chasing him for two seasons, and it's still not gone away. Is he the man they're bringing in to replace Matic? If so, it's absolutely ridiculous. Why would you downgrade from Matic to Danny Drinkwater? Blows my mind, but it's another one we need to keep an eye on. And sticking with Chelsea, another one that's kind of gone quiet for a long time is Ross Barkley, who is still a big target for Chelsea. Now that one I can sort of understand. I think I think the problem is with Ross Barkley, we're still talking about his potential. He never seems to really explode onto the scene. But I think if he did make a big move to Chelsea, we could see the best of him. They are also linked with Mares, but I, I, I don't think Mares will end up there. I still think Mares will end up at Roma. So massive news coming out from Spurs this morning. They have had a bid accepted for Fernando Lorente from Swansea. Uh, all right, Spurs. Super. Moving on to West Ham, it still seems they are trying to strengthen this squad at the start of the season. We all seen like Chikorito was there, we thought he was going to do absolute bits. He's playing all right, but West Ham seems to be struggling at the minute. So they are still going in on the transfer market. Jack Wilshere, Kevin Morales, two of those players linked with West Ham this morning. Those would be two very solid transfers, especially if you can get the best out of Jack Wilshere, who has the potential to be bloody awesome. Again, we use that horrid word potential when they really should be showing the good. But Kevin Morales, decent player, and again, they should really strengthen West Ham. They need it at the minute, so hopefully they can get some business done today. And finally, we're going to move on to Arsenal, who... They're doing fuck all. Arsenal are doing fuck all. The only thing I've heard is Perez moving to Newcastle. Of course, the Ox has left. They're pretty much just opening the bloody doors and saying, go on. Sanchez is still another one. Is he going to go today? No idea. I have no bloody idea. I think well, I think Man City might test the water once more today for Sanchez. Do Arsenal have the balls to hold on to him or the balls to let him go? Either way, it's a big move. You're going to have an unhappy Sanchez or you're going to have a no Sanchez, which is probably worse when you're Arsenal right now. And of course, we should probably men mention Coutinho, even though it's pointless, but everybody keeps asking, do you think Coutinho will stay? Do you think he will go? Seemingly, we're not letting him go. Do I want him to go at this point? Yes. As soon as I seen him training for Brazil, I, it, that was just a massive finger. This one. 
to Liverpool. Uh, that's what I felt like. I felt like that was the final straw. He was just saying, do you know what? I've took the piss out of you. Here I am training. I'm fine. So I think we should get rid of him. We've shown how we can play without him. And we've brought in the Ox. We've got that, that front three, which are bloody filthy. We've got Kata next season, who will replace him. He's, he's a box-to-box -box player who can do it all. So let him go. Piss off to a decline in Barcelona, where, honestly, I think he's going to win. Piss all. Because Real Madrid are now taking over. This was Deadline Day Update, boys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Cheerio.